what? More whoops, more sand, more rocks. San Felipe. So we're getting ready to head down for uh, the San Felipe 250 2022. We started working on pre-runner prep, didn't get everything done that we had hoped, but uh, they're in good working condition. We're going to go down, put in some solid time, we got a good plan, we got uh, three working pre-runners, actually four working pre-runners, happy to be back down in Baja and uh, looking for a very competitive, very exciting San Felipe 280. Oh, your radio sounds good. Yeah, you gotta be on the right channel, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so now the fun begins. Heading into the uh, borderline and uh, get across the border. What, uh, uh, not just, not really. Yeah, we go forward, yeah. Okay. We have uh, the Mucho Grande trailer coming yeah. through. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's got to go this lane. Oh, this lane. Well, it can't make the corner, oh, okay. is the problem, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, bueno. Easy crossing. Busy. But they're all fans of the race, so they let us go through. Uh, Dawson Press. Alright, so we're pulling into our house gonna get offloaded and get to work. So what difference was done to these things? Changed the valving and then we changed the, the inner bodies. Um, so the other inner bodies had smaller uh, Weed holes and stuff like that, and the full mm -hmm. Yeah, and so this is a uh, better body. So, Can should go through the big stuff easy. Yep, yep. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> gotta make our pre run a little more enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> One of our San Felipe uh, pre-run, just kind of getting things going. Obviously, we pulled in a little later yesterday, and uh, we still had a few things to do. So we're still just getting our stuff together, getting everything filled up. Uh, we got Mike Kim, you know, putting a few more adjustments in our razor, and uh, I guess that's the benefit of having a Fox Tuner riding with you. He wants to make sure his ride is as smooth and comfortable as can be. So we've got some big bumps. We're going to start immediately out on Zoo Road. That's what Mexico is all about, is pre-run, pre-run, pre-run. So here we are, let's get to work. We got big bumps today. Yeah. So we've been having a, a successful morning so far. Um, unfortunately, we're sidelined just about seven miles from where we're gonna meet Todd and have lunch, and it was just about our halfway point for the day. 
Uh, looks like we got some radiator fan motors uh, that might have gotten hot and melted or have decided to stop working. So uh, it's pretty warm down here, even though I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but uh, we can't really get too far without them. So we're going to try to diagnose the problem, see if we can figure it out out here in the desert. And if not, the highway is just right there. Put it on the trailer, go grab another pre runner. This was on uh, seven. This was on eight. So what, what's seven? I'm just trying to figure out which one we're for. We're a chase light. Okay, so we don't need that. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like it was uh, just a blown fuse, so good thing, easy fix, had spares, rock and roll. All right, so we just finished up day one pre-running. Uh, did the first 130 miles of the course. Uh, definitely gonna be fast, uh, challenging, quite a few washes, and uh, you know a lot of lines to pick through. And ultimately, we need to uh, make the straightest, fastest line possible, not necessarily the smoothest or the uh, safest line. So that's what we did. But we're back at the house. We're gonna go through our razors and uh, make sure everything's looking good. Get ready for tomorrow. But anyways, day one in the books. got our charcoal getting ready. We're going to cook some ah beef steaks and uh, hang out the rest of the night, enjoy the weather, and hit the road nice and early tomorrow morning. Uh, start of day two, get everything filled up, get on the road. Hopefully do the next 130 miles of the race course and uh, continue to make some more good notes. And tomorrow maybe we'll get froggy and we'll do the whole thing. I doubt it. a little warmer but day one's been going good so far we just stopped uh, relieve some bladders pull some stickers out of backs and um, I guess figure out what's going on with our other razor well got a brand new exhaust from RPM less than 200 miles on it and it blew out the whole back of the muffler also since it did that it melted my rear transmission mount that was brand new from Sandcraft so now we're gonna remove the muffler and run a straight pipe so it doesn't melt anything else up in there like the wiring. That is crazy. We never got that hot. 121 is the hottest we got. How's the shock after all that work yesterday? Shocks are actually feeling good today. Um, yeah, the, the adjustment that we made yesterday made a big difference and uh, we're just cruising right along, checking out some lines. Uh, we're uh, working on a new uh, burrito maker over here out of this, uh, this muffler that Jeff's got. Burrito time. We're bringing that thing with us. Direct heat, <laughs> indirect heat. <laughs> We're bringing that thing with us.
we uh, stopped to help a fellow pre-runner out. We were kind of chasing them back and forth yesterday. We happened to meet at the same place uh, today. We're here in Azufre Wash. This place is treacherous, tons of sharp rocks, big rocks, and uh, unfortunately it looks like one got the best of them. So stop and help out, see what we can help out with, and uh, we'll get back on the trail soon. I've got my big impact, so we'll try it real you quick. You got a real big one? Yeah. Bringing out my big, big impact. All right, so it looks like we got things uh, kind of buttoned up to a point where they can possibly get out of the wash here, at least get down the road. So we're gonna head back up and uh, go check out Azufre, right back down to Matomi. Oh, having a good day so far, right? Yeah, so far so good. Yep. Getting some good notes. Help these guys out. Hopefully that earns us a little good karma. Yeah, we need that, especially going through this wash right here. Right. <laughs> All right, day two in the books. Uh, just finished up the southern loop of uh, the San Felipe 250 this year. Uh, great course, a uh, lot of washes, a lot of whoops, a lot of rocks. Um, it's you know kind of typical San Felipe stuff, but they mix it up a little bit, threw into a couple fast straightaways coming to the finish line. Uh, it's gonna be a great race this year, gonna be a lot of fun. Definitely very, very fast. I would say uh, trophy truck times or uh, average mile per hour is upwards of 65 miles an hour especially with all these Mason all-wheel drive trucks out here. So it's gonna be a com very, very competitive race. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we got a lot of miles left to uh, log, a lot of notes left to take. So uh, we gotta get to work. We're gonna get our razors prepped, get ready for day three. All right, so we're just out here on the north side of the El Diablo Lake Bed, uh, waiting on the truck to show up, and Derek and Cody were bringing it down this morning. Uh, everything checked out on their end, they said. Everything looked good, so Mike and I are gonna get in it. We're gonna do some last minute uh, shock tuning, get comfortable. Uh, we've been pre-running the last couple days, including 100 miles this morning already. So get the truck here, do some miles, tune some shocks, get back in, and uh, continue on pre-running. Hopefully uh, we got a lot of daylight left, and we can get some extra bonus miles in. Truck's arrived. We're gonna uh, get it into the Fox Service booth, and they'll put all the uh, latest greatest on it, and uh, we'll go get some laps in.
that was fun. The truck's amazing. And uh, to keep making improvements on it, Derek and Cody did a good job putting it back together. Mike came up with some fancy smancy tunes for our live valve. Got the thing dialed in and super nice how easily and adjustable it is. Uh, we can get a mechanical adjustment along with an electronic adjustment out of it. And the truck basically takes care of itself uh, going down the whoops and yeah, a lot of fun. All right, so we just finished uh, testing the truck for the San Felipe 250 and uh, we just brought it out here. We came up with some, uh, some new live valve tunes for it and uh, they worked out really good. Uh, we had to make a couple fine adjustments just to kind of get a little bit more comfort out of it. But other than that, I mean, truck hauls ass and uh, we're gonna go, go see what uh, we can put it on top of the box.